All right, so I'm about to show you guys how to install a injector in a Cummins M11 engine. So I just installed the first one. So I figured, let me show you guys how to do one of these. So the same procedure I'm gonna do on one, is the same procedure you do on all of them. All right, so I'm gonna remove the cross heads. I'm gonna put them aside. Then I'm going to remove the injector hold down clamp. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of rag and I'm going to clean down in the bore. Now you got to make sure your rag is length free. You don't want no length in there. All right, so I'm going to do that after off camera because what I'm doing now is just holding the camera in one hand and you know trying to navigate and show you guys what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna just clean it off clean it out off camera then cut you guys back on but in the process of cleaning it out I'm gonna I'm gonna oil it as well so I'm gonna clean it out then I'm gonna oil it with some regular um, engine oil that I typically use in this engine all right so I got the injector bore cleaned out. As you can see, the uh, copper injector cup is nice and shiny. So now I'm gonna install the injector. And I greased the injector rings. All those, all three of those rings are greased and around it. Um, not greased, but oiled. So FYI, I don't mean grease like grease grease but <laughs> all right so I'm gonna take my time and put down this uh actually let me get this out my way okay that's better so I'm gonna take my time and put down the injector you gotta take your time and drop it down in there well not drop it put it down in there so so I took my time and I put it down in there like that. All right, so now we're gonna put down, we're gonna put in the the injector hold down clamp. Now they do make they do make um, the injector installers, but on this engine is very forgiving. So um, what I normally do is use the injector hold down clamp and just tighten down tighten down the clamp to the manufacturer specs and that automatically install the um the injector all right so now what we're going to do we're going to get the injector hold on clamp this right here um you know what first i see i have some oil in here first i'm going to take something and i'm going to i'm going to um I'm gonna sap out this oil that's down here because um, you don't want to you don't want too much oil in these in these screw down holes. So if you can get it dry, suck it out dry, or whatever, you can put like a one of those sharp sharp rag in there and twirl it down a little bit and suck out the oil that's down in these these screw down holes so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna take a um, take something and get this oil out all right so I got I got the oil sucked out of here now I'm gonna install the hold down clamp So the torque spec for this hold down clamp is 75 newton meter or 55 foot pounds. So that's what you want to do here. 
So what I'm going to do is tighten this down to 55 foot pounds and then the injectors, I mean the injector would be properly installed. And like I said, all you got to do is just tighten this down and this should install um, by itself without using a install a um, injector installer. So this alone, the um, injector hold down clamp should install your injector. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.